Let's see if this thing is working. Is it working? Yeah, it's working. Hey, what's up everybody? So this is your boy Regal coming at you one more time from the Newbie Garden channel. This video today is about what I use for fertilizing or what I've been using lately. This is actually gonna be my third time fertilizing and I figure I record it. Even though I don't have that much time, I wanna show you guys not really compost tea because I don't use compost or any kind of soil. So I'll just call it tea. But before I do that, I wanna show you the results of the uh, feeding that I've done so far. So you guys can look at the fig trees and see the uh, how nice they're looking and stuff like that, all right? All right, so here we are. As you can see, the trees are doing pretty good. Um, they are producing figs for the most part. They're looking nice and green. I'm starting to see some, some rust, some fig rust. You can see it on the leaves. But as you can see, we've also got figs. We got bravas, we got main figs main crop and let me walk you around so you guys can see the trees they're looking really good actually you know for the most part not bad at all this is what the trees are looking like some people said actually there was a person on Facebook that said if I uh, photoshopped my uh, picture that I posted and if I edited the uh, date because uh, of the picture I posted but nope this is proof right here that I did not Photoshop or edit any pictures for a previous year or date or anything like that this is uh, the actual trees to all my friends out there and I think they're looking like this because of the uh, tea that I'm using and I was picking some of the weeds and stuff because it seems like the buckets, the weeds are liking the, the tea a lot. So I was going through them and stuff. And I've actually noticed that these um, weeds over here, they pretty much cover this. Like if it was a ground cover. And they help out with uh, keeping the um, buckets uh, uh, moist. And keeping them uh, not too hot. So it's almost like a ground cover. The reason why I take them off right now is because I'm going to fertilize and stuff. So I don't want to have... Uh, too much uh, weeds you know because I think they enjoy that feeding and they just get really really crazy they grow really crazy so I don't want to have too much of it it is a pain to be picking them out and stuff but you gotta do what you gotta do right sometimes I just pull them out and I leave them there sometimes I pull little things like this which is actually a, a sucker growing from the tree itself but yeah, you're going to see some of them have more, some of them have less, and all that stuff. But I haven't seen no real damage due to the weeds. I've been getting a lot of tomatoes. A lot of tomatoes from this. This um, just two trees and a different variety all the way down there. A tiny one that's hidden back there. And a whole bunch I have on the front yard. Uh, some peppers and stuff also over here. But yeah, look at the fig trees, guys. Look at the fig trees. It's, things are going crazy. And I know you're going to notice some of the buckets have little stickers on them. Like that one has a, uh, a gold sticker. This one has a gold sticker. You're going to see some that have, uh, you know, different colors of green and a gold. And this is just for my personal uh, records. There's a reason why I put different color stickers. They uh, basically mean something different. So, that's the reason why I do it. Um, sometimes you got to keep track of things, you know, according to what better works for you. So, that's what I'm doing. It helps me out with uh, remembering uh, which trees I'm going to keep, which ones are great, which ones produce a Brabus which ones I'm gonna get rid of or I plan on not uh, keep them for much longer or you know if how many years they got so believe it or not all those little stickers I got different colors um, help me out with remembering and keeping track of of all this stuff I need to water this uh, uh, raspberry latte here but look at that that's Bergen Unknown Genovese Nero 
have a whole bunch of uh, trees. Called the Dam Hegantina. It's looking very green. So check it out. So that's what the orchard looks like. That's what all the fig trees are looking like um, due to the feeding I'm doing. On the first feeding, I did add a little bit extra nitrogen just to give them that boost. Uh, but the last feeding I did, I did not add any uh, true or strong nitrogen. So over here, I've been eating crazy LSU purples. I've been eating a lot of those. You can see it's still ripening a bunch of them. And they taste delish. I'm also getting... I forgot about these little suckers. The ones that come over here and they start eating all the uh, all the figs, the mockingbirds. So, yeah, they're eating them. Alright, I had to go and get a new battery because this one had died already. Forgot to tell you guys. Sorry I haven't been able to upload and stuff like that, but it's actually for two simple reasons. One, I'm always busy. I always got a lot of stuff to do. Second, I really don't like making videos. I do them really because, you know, people request them. People say that, you know, they laugh, they enjoy them and things like that. But, eh, you know, it's not my forte. All right, folks. All right, my little fig friends right here. This is what I use. So we're going to start with the infamous fish fertilizer, right? I hate using this stuff, but you got to make sure that when you mix it inside that barrel or whatever you're mixing it in, you use it all. You don't let that sit in there for a long time because it will start stinking really bad and it'll rot and keep on fermenting with all this other stuff humic acid i do use that a little bit blackstrap molasses this is the unsulfured version i love using this one this one's the best right here you gotta use liquid kelp and i like using this uh, gs plant food one and this right here is something that a lot of people don't use but i found that it's very 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 good so this right here is a micro boost. It has like all the micronutrients and supplements and stuff uh, that our other fertilizers don't have or are missing some or even most of them. And this right here I have to use and I think uh, this is very beneficial for trees and stuff like that. And this, I use very little of it for a couple of reasons. Everything needs vitamin C, even trees like a little bit of vitamin C. However, I use this mostly when I have no rainwater and uh, I have to fill up the barrel with uh, regular tap water or city water and stuff and I have to let it sit there. I usually let it sit there for at least an hour baking in the sun, the water. And then after that I add a little tiny little bit of this. Um, maybe I'll throw a little bit in there because I haven't used it the last couple of times. But yeah, vitamin C. This is a regular powder cheap version and stuff it's very inexpensive and those are the ingredients to making my tea all right and I'm gonna show you how I put it in the barrel and mix it Jennifer is out here recording you waiting so that I can finish my video you know people have been asking me that they want to see what my mix is for the uh, tea I am I decided I'm gonna make a video and show them especially uh, Joe Joe sent me a message yesterday and he was like Rigo I want to know what you do with that that tea and stuff so that I could try it myself what are you doing picking tomatoes I just picked a whole bunch of little maters Ooh. I gotta they look, go they look nice and uh, crunchy I gotta go check the front for big maters okay and yes oh. I'm calling them maters it's You're my dropping them Jennifer Maybe I should double them Jen. Should I throw? I would. I would be very unsuccessful with that. Don't do that. All right, guys. Sorry for the delay. She's still here. She's right there. See? And with delay, he means me. He already told me I gotta go inside, but I don't listen very well with commands. You're a pain. You're you lucky are too. I love you, girls. You'd be inside there, fertilized. I would be fertilized. All right, guys. So you might get double duplicates of me. <laughs> Yeah. Or, or an extra grown me. Yeah, I think they got a weed killer. <laughs> Alright guys, so I've been fortunate enough here in Florida to have been getting some rain and stuff. So I do have a bucket of, actually a bucket, a couple of buckets of rain. But there's even mosquitoes in here. There's mosquitoes and a couple of other nasty little bits. 
but I guess the plant's like that. I also have the other bucket over there, the other barrel, I should call it. Barrel, not buckets. Filled with rainwater. I have it disconnected right now because they're working on the roof. And that's another reason why I have all this mess over here and off the wall and stuff because we're putting a new roof, we're doing some more uh, uh, fixing of the house, and soon we're gonna paint it a new garage, new bag, new bunch of stuff. Because we decided to stay here a little bit longer, unfortunately. But um, yeah, so we got the water ready right here. And now we're gonna add the ingredients so that you guys can see how I do it. Alright guys, you know how there's people out there that have to measure everything? I don't measure anything. I just go by eyeball, uh, color, whatever it is. And if it worked out for me the first time and second time, and this is the results I'm getting right now. I'm sticking with it. So this is a 32 gallon uh, garbage barrel. It's about $17 at Home Depot um, with a lid if you want to use that too. Um, but yeah, the measurements that I'm going to show you here is not according to what it says on the, uh, on the labels. This is what I do. This is my way of doing it. This is uh, the amounts I like and uh, I'm having no problems with it. So this is it. So you grab yourself the fish uh, the fish fertilizer, mix it up real good. This stuff stinks by the way. But it's good. It's good for the trees. So I use about a cup of this. And I dump it right in. And I just gotta be doing this so that it could come out because it's still on there. Next is gonna be the black strap molasses. This is really good stuff right here. This is what helps feed all those little microorganisms in the soil and stuff. I really like it. I mean, it's so good, guys, that I could grab a little bit like this. That is good. I use about a cup of this too. That's black gold right there. Love it that in there and as you could see you're gonna see all the flies coming over here and they're like all over the water and all over me and if they don't watch out I'm gonna open my mouth and bite them look at that still dripping that black gold you see that you see that stuff next is gonna be your organic liquid kelp everybody knows about this everybody knows that this is good it's beneficial for the soil I use about half a cup of this I don't go too strong on it I'm sure you can go a lot more but I do half a cup organic liquid humic acid half a cup of that Add a little bit more. This is more like almost three quarters of a cup. Don't you find this video so amusing, so uh, satisfying, so uh, fun to watch, so educational? Because I sure don't. I'm not even enjoying it right now, but I'm doing it for you guys. Now we're gonna use the micro boost. Gotta use this. Now this you don't need a lot of. This is actually pretty pricey you know but um, I use about half a cup sometimes even a little bit less than that all you need is a little bit that's half a cup right there you could use more if you want 
don't think you'll go wrong with it. You can never go wrong with uh, micronutrients. Even this is good stuff. I almost feel like drinking this, sticking this thing in here. You know, that's the way the cookie crumbles. And uh, now you gotta find yourself something to mix it all up. Problem is, I had a big wooden spoon that I had bought, and I guess the people that were working on the roof, putting on the new roof, they probably threw it away. So now I gotta look for something to mix it with. So I'm doing it because I see that I'm getting more fakes rapidly. Um, the trees are looking really green. I haven't sprayed, I haven't started using the uh, the sprays yet, uh, but I think I should very soon. Right now it's a little bit too hot to spray. It's getting a little bit hot. So I'm not gonna spray right now, but maybe later on tonight or this evening or maybe tomorrow, I'm gonna spray some uh, Quadris that Eric Dirty provided. Jennifer's out again. All right guys, so now it's time to stir this thing up, get it nice and uh, mixed in. I couldn't find my stick. I think those people threw it away, babe. I think so too. God dang it. Paid them thousands of dollars just to steal my sh I don't think they stick. sold it. When they redid the roof, they were throwing out wood and your wood piece looked kind of old and it was not mix. Jennifer, Jennifer. Anyways, Jennifer said, there's a stick over there, a mop, an old mop stick. That don't has use the, the metal side. I am gonna use the metal side because then actually this is it. this is like a uh, like a uh, a stirrer. Yeah, like a flopper. So it's been out there for like a long time. So the rain rinsed and it. the rain washed it and everything and all that good stuff, nice and tight now. See, it's we like recycle. Jennifer. I like them tight. <laughs> so there it is. There's my spoon. See, guys, get an old mop head that has like a little. Uh, Propeller of some sort with holes so that it goes through the mixing and everything. And then you go like this. You look like, like a this. witch stirring the pot. I like stirring the pot. You know, in the community, I'm known to stir the pot. Yeah. I, I think you're done. I get people hot. I know. Well, that's yeah. because you speak it how it is. And if they don't like it, tell I do. Just like she said. Tell <laughs> it. I do speak my mind. I'm almost sorry. But I kind of butt hurt many of you guys out there. But that's just me. It's either you love me or you hate me. And if you hate me, I still love you. Can I stick my tongue in it? Go ahead, I dare you. I, I give you. Is it chemicals? No, it's organic. I, I'll give you 50 cents if you lick. 50 cents? That's yeah. cheap. Shh, I thought you, you were going to say like $50. $50? Yeah. Good God, I don't worth the lick for 50, $50 cents. $50 was one of those products right there. Babe, you can't buy crap these days with 50 cents. Anyways, guys, look at that. Making it, making it, making it nice and mixed. It looks like dirty rainwater. I know, it looks like mud. Yeah, like mud water. So this tea doesn't have any compost, no soil, nothing like that. But like I said before, make sure you use it all because it has that uh, fish fertilizer um, and you don't want to leave some inside the, 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 um, the barrel. The other day I left a little bit, like probably about this much deep inside. Yeah. And it fermented and stuff. It got so stinky. It was like the flies were having a feast. They were having a party. All right, so this is what it looks like, guys. Look at that. Super, super dark compared to my dark hands. Very, very dark. But yeah, that's um, due to the um, all the ingredients. They're all pretty much uh, dark liquids. Uh, the kelp is dark. The micro boost is very dark. All that stuff. But that is the tea that I use. All right, so now we're gonna go and put it on the trees and we'll put a little B-roll music on the side so y'all could enjoy it and not listen to me talk gibberish. All right, so you get your watering can, right? Whichever type it is that you have, but I have this particular one right here. I used to go in this way to grab some of that tea, but I noticed that when I pull it out and the barrel is way too full, by the time it gets to the end on the top of the, the lip, a lot of it gets lost because obviously this is very uh, wide so now i just go straight up this way and i fill it up this way and i could pick it up and it doesn't drop anything outside the barrel so learn that skill boys and girls
and that's pretty much the way I do it as you could see it's not rocket science it's not difficult at all but I gotta take a little break Ugh. I'm in the mood to eat a fig so let's pick this one over here got a couple of ripe ones from this uh, LSU purple as you can see it's right there not bad looking right pretty good mm. it's delicious can't beat can't beat fresh mm. Mm -mm -mm. Hope you guys enjoyed that video and if you did don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up and if you didn't give it a big thumbs down because to me it doesn't really matter and like i always say i love you and i'll see you next I got the biggest beat, oh I God, got the, the biggest beat.